Hey guys, I thought I would actually do this a little bit more fun and pick uh, six different booster packs. You might be like, where do you get these packs from? I haven't seen Strixhaven or Midnight Hunt forever. Well, uh, my distributor is related to Walmart. They're the people who make those Walmart mystery bags or mystery packs or cubes or boxes or, you know, there's a million different ways to say what they're trying to make. But my distributor, when those don't sell, they have to open them. Now, I wish in, in earlier videos, they actually would give me the box and they would come with the dice and so on. But I think they have like a legal problem now where they cannot sell me the mystery boxes where, so maybe four, three years ago when I was doing it, they would actually just give me the box. And I told them, no, I don't want the box, I just want the packs because I wasn't going to open them. I was just going to store them and hope that they have a little bit more, but, but not, I, I'm beyond that. So anyway, these are the packs that you would normally receive from Walmart. And the Chase pack obviously is this one. And I don't know anything about these sets, to be honest with you. Like a lot of this set, like Jumpstart, I've never really even opened. So to prove it's Walmart, uh, not that this one had the proof, but there are tabs. So there is a very interesting scenario where I probably don't know what the value is. And I'm just going to try to guess what is valuable, what's not valuable. There's a lot of different sets, and I think that's kind of the fun thing. Um, now, I used to play this guy a lot. Fleeting Spirit. Edgar's Awakening. Toron Fist of Angels. Okay. Oh, and we got a planes, and we got a day-night token. Oh, this is not a flip card? Very weird. Okay. Um, that was very weird. Uh, day-night token. So that's been a while since I've seen one of those. The Werewolf Day Night. This is a product, um, again, I don't think I've ever opened this product. I remember buying a booster box of the product. There's 20 cards in this. There's dogs. This might, I mean, holy, who knows? I mean, dogs are pop, wow, okay. So I have never opened this product before. I don't know why it's designed this way, but okay. So it's plus one. It's got a Hydra in the middle. I've never seen this. I've honestly never seen this before. It's an interesting product. Oh, so are you guaranteed mythics every time? Whenever you cast a creature spell, put a free free beast creature token. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, that is really cool, actually. I'm gonna assume that most of the uncommons, unless there's like an uncommon I know of, this is a pretty cool uncommon. Wow, they're from like different, oh yeah, they're from like different sets, right? This is, what is this? Wow, okay, interesting. They, they even give you, oh, they even give you some land. Oh, cool, okay. So we hit a mythic. That's interesting. Okay, Strixhaven, this is a set booster. I have, look, see, it is from Walmart, guys, and everything is tabbed, so don't steal the mystery boxes because I guarantee you, out of six packs, one of them is definitely tagged up. The probability is so low. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forgot, this is a set pack. Swamp. Okay, that's our random card. So we're gonna have a, a pretty diverse array of cards. And I don't know if that mythic is valuable, but it could be. This is kind of a cool card. Oh, land is always good. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, that was a lot of blanking stuff. That was a lot of stuff for, uh, whenever enters battlefield, you may reveal a island or mountain card. If you don't, um, probably EDH playable. And then this guy is our flip card i don't know if we're guaranteed a flip card that's a lot of cards claim the firstborn again no idea if that's valuable i'm assuming it's not wow interesting set um definitely i don't know <laughs> did we profit i guess you guys let me know in the comment section below if you want to know how much retail this cost you know i've always been very frank with the cost so it's six packs retail is 19.99 
I get them for three dollars a pack. No, hold on. Retail is not nineteen ninety nine. It is twenty nine ninety nine, and I get them for eighteen dollars and sixty cents. Three dollars and ten cents a pack, um, including whatever. Sometimes there is a good pack. In fact, I did get a really good pack. I'm not going to open it here. I did get a OG pack of Dissension and Blister. I didn't even know they had blisters for Dissension, but it looks different. So it is possible to get, but that was after many, many packs. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so the blister is different. It's like a plastic blister they had back in the day. Obviously, the guy wanted to keep it. I said, no, I'm not going to buy it unless you give me this. Okay, commons. Oh, that could have been land. That could have been land. And uh, nada. So at the end, you're going to let me know if we made money back. I'm pretty sure for this exercise that that would be quite difficult to do. Okay, my favorite pack of all time in terms of value. Got a little glue on top. Maybe that's good luck. Here we go. Autographed. Oh, this is a very good card, but it's not. Um, it's not the one that they want. It's like a. It, it was a card that. Oh, why? Oh, that's a good card. Wild surge. That is a good card. Okay, Lord of Bones. That's our first rare in that pack. Okay, that's our... Okay. Wow, that was a lot of rares. That was four rares in one pack, including our shiny rare, Gale's Redirection. Okay, Wild Maids, and then a something something. All right, that was a pretty intensive pack. Probably none of them over a dollar, as I found out. Just because something is called a rare, does not, oh, is this set? Oh no, no, this is draft. Midnight Hunt, no idea what we're looking for Midnight Hunt. I assume that there's some werewolves and stuff like that. Trapper, I'm gonna have to take a look at, I used to play this one, right? Yeah, Vampire Warrior, Shady Traveler, Scare uh, borrow time. I'm sure that was playable. Desert beach. Oh, and the forest. Oh, that's beautiful. I always like the midnight. I don't know why this gets such a bad rap. Like I'm pretty sure every midnight hunt, you're guaranteed a uh, a land, and the land looks really, really good. So that was about retail twenty nine ninety nine. I bought it for eighteen dollars. If I had to guess. I would guess we did not break even. I mean, there might be one card like that. Who, who knows? There, there's two land, which is really, really good. Typically, two land is pretty good. Let's see. Dungeons and Dragons. The other Dungeons and Dragons. I guess we'll open another jump start. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Baldur's Gate. No, we already bought, got Baldur's Gate. Oh, we'll open uh, the other Dungeons and Dragons. A set pack and then Strixhaven. So we'll do that next uh, tomorrow. Alright, <laughs> guys.